Hey everyone, and welcome to Chef AJ Live. I'm your host, Chef AJ, and this is where I introduce you to amazing people like you who are doing great things in the world that I think you should know about. Well, earlier this week, we had a one-year-old vegan chef, and it was so popular, I decided to have more kids on the show. And today we have the vegan kids. They are Chad, who is 11, and Emily, who is nine, they're gonna be making delicious food, chocolate chickpea ice cream, in fact, and an SOS free granola. They have their own channel, which I hope you'll subscribe to. They are fantastic. Please welcome the vegan kids. Hi, Chad. Hi, Emily. Hi, Chef Adrian. So this is amazing. Before we even get into the cooking, I'd like to ask you guys one at a time, when you became vegan and why? And why don't we start with ladies first? So, so would you like to tell your story, Emily? Um, yeah, so I've just always been an animal lover, and my teacher actually said animals are friends, not food, and I found that really inspiring, and also I, I just love animals, and even though I love meat, I'd rather keep the animals alive than have them die. That is so great. So you've been vegan as long as you can remember? Um, not really. I've been vegan for about like a year or two from that. And that is fantastic. And what about you, Chad? So how I became vegan, I just love animals. And, and then I was like, why do animals have to die just so people can eat food? Like, what's the point? So I just became vegan. That's fantastic. Mom, yeah, our mom has been vegan and having her like cook every single meal like made it easier. That definitely does make it easier. Your mom's going to be on the show in the fall with, for, for another topic because she's a, a, an artist and she's going to talk about that. And do you guys have any pets? Um, yes. Yes, we have one Havanese, one parrot, three fish tanks, and, and we have a key sign. Yeah. That's Which, great. My, my dog Bailey is half Havanese. That's just a wonderful dog. So that's fantastic. Is your whole family vegan, even dad? Um, not dad, kind of. He's 99.9% yes. vegan. He says... He's not going to give up his cheese on his pizza. pizza. Well, does he know that they have Daya cheese now? And Miyoko Shinner has a whole line of vegan cheeses? I'm pretty sure because we actually have some vegan cheese. Yeah, but like if we if he goes out, he like doesn't really, um, most of the time he doesn't really eat vegan when he goes out. Like for like. Well, then we got to keep him home. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we can go anywhere now, so. Yeah, COVID kept him vegan. That's great. I mean, well, I mean, not COVID's great, but that's fantastic. When did you guys start your YouTube channel? Uh, During lockdown, like last June, I think. Yeah, I think around last June. Yeah. Do you guys enjoy making the videos? Yeah, they're really fun. Yeah. Even though we mess up our lines a lot, and there's a lot of retakes, and it takes like 20 minutes to film a three-minute episode. It's still really fun. <laughs> well, that's okay. And I see you have an Instagram too. And what I've done is I've put the links in the show notes and I'll post them in the chat and hopefully we'll get more people to subscribe to you and see your wonderful videos. You actually did one on one of my recepes and I just thought it was amazing. Yeah, you, you I get, think it's too, like the apple pie and then the soup. I love that you give a very unbiased, honest opinion of the recipes. Yeah, they're really yeah. yummy. We, I don't know how yeah. you create them, but they're still really yummy. Yeah, like oh, so Diane is asking how old you are. She, oh, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Where do you get the ideas from to create all these recipes? Where do I get them from? Yes. You know, just things like, well, because I'm older than you, so I've probably had more different kinds of food than you. Usually just things I like or that people ask me. I was going to ask you, how do you get the ideas for your recipes? And when did you guys start cooking? Um, well, we started, we don't really cook. Our mom helps us a bit, but we got most of our vegan recipes in our videos from online recipes and we just switched them and changed them in experiment and that's how we came up with the granola and the vegan ice cream. Yeah, basically. What we do is we find an online recipe since I had a dairy intolerance for a while. Like for my entire life I had a dairy intolerance. So we've been looking for an ice cream replacement and then we found this vegan chickpea ice cream and then um, we, and then we just found it online, and then we just like tweak it to like make it help, basically. That sounds great. What are your guys' favorite foods, either that you prepare or maybe that mom makes? 
Um, mine is definitely her waffle noodles. We actually made it last night and they were so yummy. Yeah, like waffle noodles that my mom makes, she like makes it without any oil, like SOS, basically whole food plant based because that's what she is and it just tastes really good. You know, you, I mean, I, you know, who knows what your future will hold, but if you stay vegan, you guys are really lucky because I didn't go vegan until I was 17. And do you know, other than the fact that, you know, it's the kindest way to eat, do, has your mom educated you about why it's also a healthy way to eat? Yes. Yeah. Many times she's like, it's way better for your body. Mm-hmm. And some people, they, you can't, it stops you from getting many health problems like cancer and stuff like that. Yeah. And and if you're like trying to make stuff like whole food plant based instead of when you take out the fat, for me, what I, what my first thought was is it just made you think skinnier. That was my first thought. And then I just realized that taking out fat like took out like the way your body processes um, what you eat. That, that's amazing. So, um, do you have friends that are vegan? Or are you? I, I don't even know what, what part of the country do you guys live in. Obviously, please don't tell your address. We had a guest do that once, but I mean, like you know, maybe you could tell the state you live in um, or the city. We live in Florida, Florida and um, we don't really have any vegan friends, but we do have this one friend named Led, and he was actually in a showdown series with us. Yeah. We actually made some videos. With him. Yeah, we made a few videos, but he's so not he- vegan. Since but he was non-vegan, we just made a couple of videos having a non-vegan friend try vegan stuff to get his opinion. He really Great did. idea. Did, did he like the food? Yeah. Yeah, that's amazing. And he also compared it to the dairy version or like the meat version. Like when we had the vegan chicken nuggets, he said that the vegan chicken nugget was like drier than normal chicken and stuff like that. Yeah, but he still really enjoyed it. Well, that's that's great. You have a beautiful kitchen, by the way. You guys seem very comfortable talking on camera. Did you have any experience doing this before you started doing your YouTube channel? Not at all. Not really, except for talking in class over Zoom on Google Meet. Not really. Not so at what, all. What, what, do you, what do you guys like to do for fun? Uh, before before um, COVID, I was always like playing sports with my friends. But now that COVID has like hit, um, I've been just, the only way I was able to connect to my friends is like playing video games with them. And um, Well, in my opinion, I really like swimming and doing adult stuff. Like we have a swim pool in our backyard. That's how I work. Yeah. Like, sometimes I go outside to play basketball and I also connect with my friends in video games. Yeah, but sometimes we have like one or two friends that are like us, which are really safe about COVID. So we we take them into the swimming pool with us. Yeah, we invite them over and we have great time. Wow. That's really, you know, a lot of adults don't even know what whole food plant based or SOS free mean. SOS means sugar, oil, and salt. Right. That's amazing that you know that. Do you guys ever watch any of the films or documentaries about veganism or plant based? Yeah, I have, um, my mom and me always watch videos like yours and many other vegan chefs like um, plant people, kiki and people like that. And I know a tiny bit. I don't know like you, like a massive brain about this, but I know some of it. (laughs) But how, the only thing I've seen related to like veganism and stuff, like outside of like what my mom has told me and stuff like that, is when I was in school, I was doing a project on Buddhism and I found that they were like typically vegan because they wanted no harm to animals. Just like you guys. Yeah. (laughs) Now, did you, oh, go ahead. Did your mom become vegan first and then one day just say, hey kids, this is what we're gonna do? Um, She Uh, didn't say, hey kids, this is what we're gonna do, but she she transferred us into it. She was vegan um, for a long time. She's vegetarian and vegan for most of her life. Yeah. That's that's great. Well, I can't wait to meet her. So what recipes are you going to do for us today? I will be doing um, a vegan chickpea ice cream that's chocolate flavored. And what will you be doing? I will be doing some vegan um, SOS free granola. Well, I can't wait to see the recipe if you'd like to get started. 
Okay. okay. I guess I'll go first. Yeah. It is first. Um, so first I have some old fashioned clothes. Oh, do you ever wonder why they call them old fashioned? Um, because they're old and they're fashioned. <laughs> <laughs> My guess is because they came from like the times before we were alive. Yeah. And now I have some steel cutouts. I'm just going to jump in with the old fashioned ones. And I have some flaxseed meal. I mean, ground flaxseed meal that my mom ground it earlier. I have some baker cinnamon. You can use regular cinnamon, but that's what you know we have. And then I have some applesauce. And do you want to try and get all of it? And also, if you want, we don't do this at my house, but sometimes you can remove some of the applesauce or maple syrup. So that would make it sweeter, probably, with the maple syrup. Yeah. yeah. And, well, it's pretty sweet with the applesauce, but it would make it a bit more sweet. And you also have to stir this, like, really well, and it will take a while. Because, mm -hmm. like, you, have, you only have a tiny bit of liquid, and you have a lot of dry, so it's going to take a while. Also, you would add in some vanilla, but um, there was already vanilla in here that my mom mixed, so it would be less than mm -hmm. Nice. Do you have a favorite fruit or vegetable, Emily? Um, yeah, I really like steamed broccoli. Me too. That, I think that might be my favorite. What about fruit? Do you have a favorite fruit? Um, I like a lot of them, um, but I think my favorite would either have to be something like watermelon or not strawberry. So well, God, we could we get along living together. Those are probably my two favorites, especially during this time of year. What about you, Chad? Do you have a favorite fruit or vegetable? For vegetables, my top three are steamed broccoli, cooked onions, and herb roasted potatoes. And for fruits, my top three are watermelon, grapes, and strawberries. <laughs> well, you guys could visit because we have all of those right now. Are you going to cook the, uh, how are you going to cook the uh, granola, Emily? In an oven or in a dehydrator? A level oven. I'm going to put it in 300 in convection, but I need to finish stirring this before I can. And you're also going to need a tray like this if you have one. I think you can cook it in a regular oven, but I don't really honestly know that well. Well, I love the breville. I guess your mom sometimes might make you air fries, huh? Yeah, yeah. she makes me air fry potatoes with lunch. Mm -hmm. Well, mostly with his lunch because I have a different schedule than him, but I still eat. Do you guys also have an instant pot? Yes. Yes, my mom has a good instant pot. Nice. So, so um, we have we have a finished one that's like halfway done. So um, we can like show like the process of like mixing it around. Yeah, and I'm just flattening this out over here. You need to flatten it really thin. And once it's halfway through, you also need to you need to take it out of the oven when it's halfway through. And you need to break it up, and you also need to kind of flip it so it gets toasted on both sides and baked on both sides. That would make sense. I bet using the breville, it gets nice and crunchy without even having to use oil. Yes. yes. Yeah. So okay. now I'm going to put this over here. Okay. And now I'm going to show you one that we made earlier. I'm going to show you what you do. So what you want to do is you take a tiny piece. And then you just, um, also you want to do it halfway through and your full time 20 minutes. So after 10 minutes, you want to take it out and crunch it into tiny pieces. Well, you can if you want yeah. to, we just really like it. You can make these into like but, something else. But you, you I would recommend doing it not at the exact time, but when it's like crunchy enough. Yeah, like if your thing isn't crunchy enough, like if it's not baked enough for your liking, you can also just put it in back in. But we like it like that. Yeah. And 
and um, we have a finished version over here. Yeah, well, and it's the magic of television. Yep. So this is our one. finished one that we made a couple of, like a week ago, and we said I'm just gonna try it. It's pretty good. So you didn't even try it yet. <laughs> well, you know that because we tried this before, but it's really young. That's that looks great. You could probably even use it as a topping for your chickpea ice cream. Yeah, mm -hmm. like you can use this on a topping, or I use it with yogurt and fruit. Yeah, sometimes you can use it for oatmeal, like breakfast. You know, you know now that I've had a one-year-old, a nine-year-old, and eleven-year-old on my show cook, I'm not gonna. When people tell me, "Oh, I don't know how to cook," I'm gonna like, "Hey, come on," you know. Mm -hmm. Kids can cook. You can cook. That's amazing. What What are your favorite subjects in school? Um, for me, I think it would be um like science because we're learning this really cool thing about space. And we use this website that like lets you travel into space. It like shows you previews and you can like spin off planets. And it's really cool and it can show you how everything looks and space missions and all this, you know, that kind of stuff. And it's just a really cool website and I love using it. So for now, it's science. <laughs> for me, um, my best subject is math because um, I'm just like really good at math. Like when I, when I like, did school um since i do homeschool i did like two months worth of math in like an hour so i'm just thinking math is my favorite subject check? since i'm best at it it's wow. not i'm also really good at math it's just that my favorite for now is science well, that's amazing well both in am so what what grades are you in like uh seventh and fifth or I'm, fourth and sixth i'm in third um i'm I'm in sixth grade, but since I do homeschool, I'm I'm like about to start doing seventh grade stuff. But I, but technically, if I went to a normal school, I would be in sixth grade. Yeah, and if you don't know what AMP means, it means um, advanced mean? math program. Yeah, but <laughs> that's great. So, are you going to use the Vitamix Chad to make your ice cream? Yes. Yes, we are. So, um, first we have dates that we're going to put into this Vitamix. God, this is quite the process. We're going to use a spoon to help them. Sorry, this is kind of cringy. Not the best. We're going live. We've never gone live before, so. Sorry, this is a bit cringy. Okay, I got it. I think I got it on. It's okay if you didn't. Okay. <laughs> okay, now we have peanut butter. We have PB peanut butter and we use it. It starts off as a powder and then it gets more like, um, it gets more, it gets like more like peanut butter because you have to like put it in water and stuff like that. So, here is the PB peanut And the spoon. A very dirty spoon. Do you guys play any musical instruments? Um, not really. We don't really play musical instruments, but I have an old guitar in my closet. I don't know how to play, but I just like playing around like it with it, like just drumming it. But I don't professionally. Yeah. I'm not learning it or anything. Like that. Yeah. That's that's kind of what I have seen. I was just thinking of all the famous brother duo, brother sister duos I know. I was thinking like Donnie and Marie. Maybe you guys sing or play an instrument or something. Well, I don't really sing, but I like to sing. I'm not that good, but I like to sing. For fun, like. Things like dancing and singing, you don't have to be good, you just have to have some fun. Well, that is the most profound thing I think anybody's ever said on the show, Emily, because that's true for everything. Whether it's doing YouTube, you just have to have fun. Yeah, well, yeah. And now we're, we're not too professional. We're kids. We don't do stuff. We don't know that much stuff in veganism, but we have fun doing it, so we do it. Yeah, so you are wise beyond your years. And now yeah. we're so profound. 
I yeah. just added some cocoa powder, and now we have a full pan of chickpeas and both of these cups. Oh, and you don't want the apple baba. You just want the normal chickpeas. You want to drain it, the apple baba. And now yeah. we got some plant-based milk. There's also vanilla in this milk just to save the ingredients amount. Yeah. So. We have a couple of questions in the chat for you guys. The first one is from JL. Have you kids ever had any influence to convince any other friends or family members to go vegan or plant-based? Um, uh, not really. Not really, but a mom inspired us. Yeah. That's great. And then Randy says- Yeah, we're trying do, to work on that. Do you ever get teased by friends for being plant-based? Uh, no, no, because most of them don't know. A lot of them don't even know. Okay. So, is it okay that I start blending? Absolutely. Have you ever thought of using a funnel? Because I have one of those. Uh, no, I don't even need it. We don't have one, but we need one. Yeah. We have some fresh made ones. So I'm going to wait until it's almost done. So you can just see. You guys work very well together. I'm curious, since you are such wonderful chefs, do you have to make all your meals, breakfast, lunch, and dinner? No, my um, mom makes he, my mom makes his lunch and my dinner. And all so dinner. our mom makes our dinner. Sometimes I make my own lunch. Sometimes my mom makes it, depending on what I'm having. And also, we make our own breakfast since we have to get to school. Yeah, and we all, I make my own lunch uh, like a lot of the time because my mom doesn't know they have season meetings and stuff like that. So if you can't come at this me and I help with my lunch, so I usually just make like a PB and J or something like that. Uh -huh. And here we have some um, obstacles that we made a couple days ago using the same recipe. It's just that um, we made them a couple days ago just yeah. so we can make them to you. And then we can make oh, and you have to cook these overnight. I mean, please, I'm going to You have to freeze them overnight. So they get cold. So these are hard to pull out. Sorry I'm that's sorry. Right. taking a lot of time for some bullets in now. Okay. <laughs> you know what I do? Sometimes I just run it under a little hot water. Uh, My mom needs to open that for us. Oh, that's actually a good idea. Okay. I didn't get these in my hand, Whatever, I'm getting it. Okay. He got a little human. We got some molds that make it into like shapes. I don't know if you can really see, but he has a human. Can you tell? No. Okay. I did a little bit. Yeah, that looks fantastic. Yeah, uh huh? They're really yummy. Yeah, they're really young. And you can make it into any shape you like. Like if you have these, you can make them into these. You can make you can make them into cookies with this like cookie mold. Yeah, you can make it into you can make any it into cookie. like cubes with like a cube mold like this. Yeah. So yeah. it doesn't really matter what mold you have. You can make these into really anything. Yeah. All you have to do is freeze them. Yeah, you just yeah. have to freeze them overnight. Yeah, they're like healthy fudgicles. Yeah. Especially yeah. if you go into this type of mold where it's like an apple. It's like yeah. an apple. Elisa wants to know, other than the, the dish you mentioned that you love that your mom makes, what are some of your other favorite vegan dinners? Um, I just like when she makes normal pasta. Like, it's vegan, but it's still delicious. 
Like it's a normal meal, but it's still really yummy. Mm -hmm. So for my vegan ice cream, we can also add um, banana. And you do banana. <laughs> yeah, and some of my favorite dishes, other than that one that I already mentioned, I really like it when my mom um, like makes stuff like her chili or like sometimes I like the sometimes I have the hamburgers and I really like those. I yeah, we like actually when my mom makes like chicken with chicken fingers and yeah. Those are just a couple. I have a lot more that I can list. He also has some soup for lunch, which he has like everything one day. Yeah, I have um, a lot more that I'll list, but yeah. I don't want to go on. We right actually now. have a video on the Beyond Burgers. My dad cooks them, not my mom. Um, is there anything you missed from from before you were vegan? Uh, sometimes I have occasionally. Sometimes I like want like a piece of meat, but I know I can't have it since I'm vegan. Most of the time, yeah, there's a lot of things for me I miss. Stuff like paddle booty and stuff with cheese and then like pizza. And sometimes I crave a donut or a non-vegan snack. But in conclusion, these are all very good and I can eat them. Yep. I love your attitude, man. So, you know, on your channel, you do, you do like some product reviews. So, so who, who, who decides the content of your channel? Um, we just, just, we just, just wing it. Well, we just pull anything that we have out of our fridge that is the same thing. We just pull in and go, hey, look at this. We can review this. Yeah. We just like wing it with, with whatever we have. So, so Diane is saying, can we meet the awesome mom of these kids? I mean, she's welcome to come on. She's going to be doing her own show in the fall, but if she'd like to come on and say hi, Bonnie, you're welcome to. Bonnie, my name is Bonnie Seaman. She's okay. a goddess, and she actually made a bowl that okay. I am using. She made this bowl, this blue. Well, so uh, uh, Bonnie, any chance the kids will come up with their own cookbook one day? Maybe, oh, no. maybe, maybe it'll probably be a short one about that thick, but sure. <laughs> well, Bonnie, as long as you're here, why don't you tell us what made you decide to go vegan and when and when you decided to how and when you decided to transition your kids and why is your husband such a holdout? Well, I, <laughs> what was the last part of the question? Why is your husband such a holdout? Uh, oh, like he's that. a hard one to convince. Trust me, I'm working. I'm working. I keep trying to show him forks over knives or game changers, and yeah, it hasn't worked yet. We're working on him. <laughs> so when did you when did you first become vegan or plant based? Uh, I well, let's see. I was I went vegetarian in like 1987, 88, and. Um, so on again, off again, vegetarian, vegan, I guess really vegan when I was in graduate school. So that was like 96 or no, 1993, I'm sorry. Um, and it, you know, it was a lot easier because I lived in Massachusetts and being an artist and being in graduate school, a lot of my friends were also vegan. So it was much easier than, you know, I lived uh, before that I lived in basically Miami and Miami is a little difficult at the time to kind of really be vegan. So, but you know, I've always loved, I've always loved animals. My, you know, when I was a kid, my dad took me fishing once and he handed me um, a, like a, like a container full of worms. And I ended up with a worm farm because I just could not take those worms and put them on the hook. And so for the longest time I had this like little tank that had dirt in it. You know, it sounds kind of silly or kind of strange to have that, but I didn't want to kill them. And so it was, I was always kind of like that. And my dad was like that. He would always, you know, if there was a bug in the house, he'd put a cup over it and slide a piece of paper. And my mom would be like, why are you doing that? You know, you just, he didn't want to kill anything. Well, so, well, to me, I call that compassion and empathy. And I think it's more strange when people want to kill things. You know, I know. Or they feel like they have the right to. So uh, Diane says you must be very proud of your kids. I am. I am. I must tell you, like, he hasn't, he, I know he hasn't been saying it really, but Chad will eat anything I give him. So... Uh, he just wants to know what it is. So I could give him beets. I could give him Brussels sprouts. I could give him the most bizarre. Uh, You're a little, she's a little pickier. I eat bok choy. I'm not saying it to be mean. I'm just saying, you know, when you're asking him what's his favorite thing, he loves, he really loves everything. So 
Um, you know, I didn't answer your question. So what caused me to go like whole food plant-based or SOS really was, um, I think, forks over knives and then the China study. Those were the two biggies for me. When I heard what I heard, um, I don't know what any of this means. You don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> we'll, we'll, we'll educate you. Yeah. Um, when I heard Dr. Campbell, you know, mention about being able to turn cancer on and turn cancer off, uh, it really impacted me. So, yeah. That's fantastic. Abdi is asking, do your kids take any specific vitamins? No. no. Nothing, nothing specific to where I would say, oh, yeah, you know, to give this to kids. No. Uh, do you give them B12? Um, What's that? <laughs> <laughs> they have some vitamins, but there's nothing specific I would recommend. Uh, great. Whose idea was the channel? Um, I always wanted I to, be to be like, like all of ours. I always like, wanted to be like famous and like a star or something. <laughs> So I think it was all of ours, really. I don't know. Well, you're getting a very early start. Who knows? I'm asking everybody to subscribe to your channel. Oh and as long as you keep on, just keep doing it as long as it stays fun. Yeah, I'm like, hey, I can have fun doing this. And I, I might never have to look world. again. And I can <laughs> never have to look. Impact the community, impact the world, impact your family, impact your friends, just impact everyone that can like, see your videos. Well, I think, I think that's fantastic. I'm so honored to have you on the show. So your dad, the holdout, what, what vegan things does he like? Um, he's, he like eats everything that we like make him at home. The only things that he won't really eat are like mushrooms and like cooked spinach, spinach eggs. Or eggs. Or eggplant. Yeah, eggplant. Eggs I, love. <laughs> um, I know he won't eat um, coconut. Yeah. He doesn't like coconut. He's really like, he'll... I must say, no, right. I must say, um, you know, he's been extremely supportive. He'll eat anything at all that I make, um, as long as it doesn't have those ingredients that the kids just mentioned in it. But however, if there's takeout and he has an option to get something that's not quite um, so, <laughs> then he takes that as an opportunity. We don't do it very often. I mean, I most, I cook a lot, but the occasional Saturday night or or Sunday afternoon, he takes that advantage and has something a little naughty. But, you, I'm sorry, go on. I was just going to ask, are your kids homeschooled or are they just home because of COVID? They're home because of COVID. But, yeah, I feel okay. like homeschooled. Correct, yeah, but because of COVID. Yeah. And right. so, I think because of COVID, she should home because of COVID. She you know, um, sometimes we cheat at like birthday parties and stuff, but to me, that's not that big <laughs> deal. What, what, um, when you go to your regular school, like, do, do kids normally take lunches or do they have a cafeteria? Well, we, in my, uh, school, it was like in, me, in my school, we have, um, we have both, like, some kids ordered lunch, like, some kids bought it from the cafeteria and others just bought their own lunch. I bought in my own lunch and, um, I don't really know about his school because I've never actually been there. Well, he hasn't. Yeah, I know. <laughs> but I, but back when I was like in back before COVID, it was like half and half. Like some you kids, well, I don't let them eat. I don't let them eat the um, lunches that are prepared at schools or camps because of you know it's so much junk food. What 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 are do you guys happen to know like what kind of lunches they are at the cafeteria? What what do they serve? Um. I remember there's this huge chocolate chip muffin that they used to call it lunch. And um, other stuff like chicken nuggets or like french fries. Mm -hmm. And sometimes they serve like a salad. Like it's optional if you can get a salad. But I remember, I think you always had to have one fruit. I think, I don't remember really, but I think that's what they had. They had, a lot, of, they had a lot of like processed snacks. Yeah. Do, do, do any of your classes, do the teachers ever talk about health or nutrition, or is this just too uh, long? Not yet, but I'm pretty sure like middle school and high school, there will be something like that. No. But, then, but by then, you'll know way more than your teachers. Yeah. I would, I mean, sometimes it, they would occasionally talk to in like, um, like PE and stuff, where it's like all about health. 
Um, Zena wants to know if either of you ever cook for your friends. No. <laughs> <laughs> We're not really a big like cook. We're like, not really cook. Cooks pretty much everything. We just, the only times we like really cook are like when we're like trying to film videos and stuff. They like to bake. They love to bake. So yeah, cookies or black bean brownies, things like that. But yeah. I try not that we we try not to have so much of that in the house. Yeah, that's, that's, is your is your dog uh, any nearby by any chance? I can get him. And Chef AJ, yeah. we might appeal when you interview my mom in the fall. Okay. Well, that would be great if you want to come back and maybe do bake something because when you bake something, you have to come back anyway. You know, you start it and then you come and then by the time she's done doing her interview, maybe it'll be ready. Okay, yep. yeah. <laughs> What are your favorite things to bake? Because today you kind of did bake. Granola's sort of baked. Yeah, uh, the granola's the easiest for me, and I bake it the most, so I'd probably bake it a lot. And this is a cute little baby has a knee. He's the, the only Oreo. Oreo we like. <laughs> His name's Oreo. He's the only he's Oreo we like. Oh my god. God, he's so cute. Have, have a, Bailey's a half Havanese. I mean, once you have a Havanese, I don't know how you have anything else. Yeah, he's a little yeah. Velcro dog, as they say, the Havanese dog. My mom and dad, have, we all have a peace hound ever since my mom and dad, a bit before they were married, they had a peace hound. Yeah, because um, the flower girl at their wedding was actually the peace hound. <laughs> yeah. Yes, my dogs were at my wedding. <laughs> Both of my dogs. Well, not all. I mean, come on. You can't have yeah. a wedding without your pets, right? <laughs> Yeah, I, I want my dog there so bad, but the place didn't allow pets. It just, uh, you want to hear something kind of strange? When we were looking at places to get married, we looked at this place up in the hills in Burbank and it's called the Castaways. And we met with the banquet manager and, and I'm not, I'm not saying this to be funny. He was from another culture, another country. And I said, can I, can I bring my dog? And he goes, how would you like him cooked? Oh my God. Oh. Oh my God. I, I'm not kidding. It was like, well, I don't think we're going to come here. <laughs> we had, yeah, so we ended up having a vegan wedding somewhere else. But I mean, I'm, I mean, it's like, I, 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 that just like blew my mind. Let me tell you. We had part of the wedding outside, so we have the dogs there. I, you know, I just we got married a little older, and I, I didn't really want a big wedding. My husband wanted a little bit bigger than I wanted, and I said, as long as my dogs can be there, all right, we can have like this, you know, a little bit bigger wedding. But I insist on the dogs. So. Um, Rosemary says, I love the kids and they're so adorable and personable with a lot of knowledge already. Yeah, you guys are going to go far. You're going to go, you're going to live a long time being this healthy stuff. I mean, I just can't imagine starting as young as you guys. Yeah, I've heard about people who are vegan and I've heard about this story that this woman lived to be 114 years old. I don't know if she was vegan, I'm assuming, because yeah. she was like the oldest woman. Well, that's amazing. You guys have such good vocabularies. You guys are, that seems like you're very intelligent too. Uh -huh. I'm very happy because my dad just said we gained a lot of subscribers. So I'm in a good mood. <laughs> One of them well, you guys are great. Go on. Go on. I'm sorry to interrupt. Oh yeah. So I, you know, guys, I, I'm not sure how I found you guys, but I, if you please subscribe to their YouTube channel, two of their videos, and I think it's actually the first ones, they taste test two of my recipes. One is the cinnamon buns, which I actually made today, and one is the apple pie, and they gave a very honest and unbiased review. Yeah, they won. I think they won one of the first ones, but I remember it wasn't the first one, and I remember how we met you. I sent a comment that said on one of your videos, it said, me and my mommy love veggies. And you just come no. back and then we got in touch. And, and I remember I sent, <laughs> I sent a comment saying all my, I sent a comment like saying all my family's emails. Yeah, on that so we got, we got in touch. We got in touch. And then. Emily, I'm so, one of I'm so glad you thank you. I'm sorry, one of her favorite things is the icing made with the ham and yams. Yeah, they really She yeah. just thought that was the best thing ever. <laughs> it's really, yeah. Yep. Uh, the, the channel name, guys, is called the, uh, let me see, is it, yeah, Vegan Kids, and I'm going to, I've been posting a link throughout the show, so please subscribe, because uh, they're, they're wonderful. It's really hard to find if you search it up, because there's other people that have, like, post my vegan kids, it's like my vegan kids are uh, like this, uh, how vegan kids eat in a day, and so it's kind of hard to find our channel, because of all those vegans. 
But you can just search up like one of our one of the title star videos if you know it, or like search a vegan kids channel, and like maybe it'll come up. I don't yeah, know. Vegan kids channel more because there's another because this morning we found another channel that was called Vegan Kids as well. Ours is a photo of us too, so you don't know because it's yeah. a photo of me. Do you have any family members like uh, aunts or uncles or cousins or grandparents that watch your channel? Um, uh, yeah, I, my dad sent a bunch of invites to a lot of family and to my teacher, to my best friend. He sent a lot of invites to yeah, everybody he sent, to come. He sent all, he sent all <laughs> of my friends invites. Yeah, and he sent everybody invites, so now you got a bunch of new viewers for us. Yeah, and also, um, he also just... Um, sent like almost everyone in his contact list he just sent them invites and we have our i don't know if our aunts and uncles watch our channel but our aunt follows our instagram yeah so I mean, I can say do, you, do you guys have grandparents no, no. no. well we have a step grandparent my dad's stepmother right yeah, and but we don't a, have real grandparents. Yeah, we have a step great grandmother. Yeah, but we yeah. don't have any like. We have a step great grandmother and a step and a step grandmother, but not a real one. It's yeah. part of the reason I want to be whole food, plant based. I want to live for a really, really long time. Well, one so. of them didn't die. One of them disappeared. Okay, Emily, we're on the Okay. <laughs> well, that's a whole nother channel there, guys. <laughs> um, Anna, uh, uh, Anna says, these kids are so adorable and amazing. My kids started their YouTube sh to share their PBJ plant-based journey and definitely show them your videos to inspire them. Thank you. That's really Thank cool. You, you know, I, like I say, you know, I start the show saying introduce you to people who are doing great things in the world and you, you're getting a really young start. So thank you guys so much for your work because, you know, who knows who you'll be able to inspire maybe, yeah. especially, and, just the, you know, people think it's so hard to cook. I mean, you did these recipes in minutes. Yeah, it's like all you have to do to make someone impressed is make a yummy meal. It doesn't have to be the fanciest thing or the most best thing in the world, but it has to be yummy. That's what I like about my mom's meals. They're not too fancy <laughs> and nice, but they're yummy. <laughs> You guys are great. Any last thoughts, you guys? Um, Any last thoughts? Um, yes, actually. Um, I'd like to thank you. And you said this wouldn't be too bad, and it's not. Like, I'm not yeah. not nervous at all. I'm like, yeah, yeah I'm here. I'm happy. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you for all that. Oh my God. Well, thank you. And this has just been such a joy. I've been looking for, I know you were scheduled last October on Halloween and something came up and it would, but yeah, I, you know, I love that. We made, so this was we didn't have here kitchen. last October. We didn't have a that, that was the reason. Yes. Very hard to cook without one. That's for sure. Any, um, any recipes coming up on your channel that we might be able to look forward to? Um, um, not maybe really. ice cream again? Yeah, we maybe. can add the ice cream because we already have the granola. The one thing we don't have is the ice cream, so we could add that. And I want to say one thing. You inspired us, okay? Like, you made my vegan journey a bit more easier because, like, I see all your recipes and they're like, oh, this is so yummy. Like, this is going to be totally easy. Oh, thank you so much. You are just the sweetest kids. Thank you so much. I really enjoyed having you on. And when mom comes to show her art, like I said, if you guys, she made a cameo appearance in yours, maybe you'll make an appearance in hers. And who knows, by then, maybe, maybe dad will be vegan. We got like six months to work on him. We'll try. <laughs> we'll try. We'll try for nine, uh, however long. Mom's well, been even if he's not, he must be awesome to have two kids like you. Yes. Yeah. He's very yeah. cool. Thank you so much. It was such a pleasure to to meet you. Thanks Thank for you. having us. Oh, it is just the, my pleasure is mine. And we'll be looking forward to seeing them back in the fall. And thanks all of you for watching another episode of Chef AJ Live. Please come back tomorrow when my guest is Dr. Deborah Shapiro. She is a plant-based OBGYN. And the show on Sunday for a time being is going to be at 2 p.m. because I've got to take my comedy class because I've got to show kids tomorrow night. I don't know if it's appropriate, though, for your age. So otherwise, I'd invite you. But who knows? You, you, guys, seem, you guys seem very um, mature, so I think you probably could handle it. Yeah. Right. Thanks. Take care. Bye, Chad. Bye, Emily. Bye, Bonnie. Bye, Jason. Bye.